Welcome back to How to Souls. My name is Rach and today we're going to go over how to strengthen your Estus flask in Dark Souls 1. So we've already had the video on how to get more heals, but how do you make those heals heal for more? As you're leveling up and you're starting to get more and more vitality, uh, your base Estus flask just won't cut it and you don't want to be using two or even three charges of it to fill your health bar. So here is how you... Oh! Here is how you improve that. So very early on in the game here in the Undead Parish, you'll see on the altar a corpse that has a Firekeeper's soul on it. Now I'm not going to fight this, this Berenica Knight right now. We're going to go <laughs> jump into these little confession booths which are actually elevators. Now this goes straight back to Firelink Shrine, but you maybe knew that already. Please, please tell me if you knew this already, that you have not consumed your Firekeeper soul because you can actually eat this and this is the most Dark Souls of Dark Souls things. The game lets you use item, which I think gives you like, what? It either gives you like a humanity. Does it give you five humanity? I'll correct myself in post-production, but honestly, it don't do it. Never do it because they're very precious. And you should have known that because you should have read Boost's Power of Estus Flask and thought, oh, well, each firekeeper is a corporeal manifestation of her bonfire. Her soul is gnawed by infinite humanity and can boost the power of it. Right, it can be used to gain humanity and restore HP at the cost of losing the firekeeper soul to reinforce the Estus Flask. Please tell me you read that. <laughs> okay right dropping the act we all did it guys we all did it we were all there once and we ate the firekeeper soul we thought yay humanity or we thought huh how do i use this basically don't use it take it back to firelink shrine i'm gonna rest here actually just because i fancied it take it back to firelink shrine anastasia of astora is your closest firekeeper which is down here down the stairs she doesn't speak but she can still do things for us. Reinforce Estus Flask. Use Firekeeper Soul to reinforce Estus Flask. Yup. Reinforce. Now you can see my Estus Flask is at plus one and it will now heal for way more than when it was at plus two. Um, if you'd like another nice early game Firekeeper Soul, it's say, for example, you ate that one in the Undead Parish. Like I said, it's okay. We've all been there. I think you can comfortably complete the game on like a plus four or a plus five. So like, don't worry. The max that you can get to is plus seven. Um, so that's maybe worth pointing out. But you can head down here to a kind of a scary area down here in New Londo Ruins. And it's kind of a death run. So <laughs> if you've got loads of souls on you, either be okay losing them or head back up and spend them at the bonfire. But uh, we can go down here and uh, across a very narrow walkway to get another Firekeeper Soul. Just I figured I may as well show you this. If this is the video about the Firekeeper Souls, I may as well show you where you can get another one. Um, at the minute, personally, this character's vitality is only like 10. So there's no real need for me to do this. What I quite like to do is I like to like kite the ghosts because you can only attack them if you are either cursed or if you have the like curse um, item, I like to pull these ones and then just sort of... Kiting is where you're like running away but you're sort of guiding them, you're controlling them. So I'm going to control them and just sort of like bring them over to this side. If they get too close they'll start like attacking you, they've got quite long range. And then we're just going to pull them over here. Over here, all of them. If they're grouped up that would be better, they're in kind of like two groups. Okay and with them over here we're going to make a little run for it. Make a little run for it. Like I said, this is kind of a death run, but we do want like a straight road ahead of us. So we're just gonna make sure they're all behind us. Run, grab this, Firekeeper Soul, and then probably die. Uh, if you can get out of it, please do try to. It looks like I've gotten away with it, no bother. But you know, if you die, that, this is what we came down here for. So it's no big deal. Um, but that is another Firekeeper Soul. So we're gonna take that right back, same place to Anastasia. And then we're gonna have an Estus Flask plus two. 
And with that, we have a plus two. Fantastic. So that should like keep you going until you get your next like natural shard, which is down in Blight Town. I mean, you can head there now and get it, but like I think plus two is pretty good for this stage in the game. So hopefully that helps you learn how to reinforce your SS flask. It teaches you what to do with Firekeeper Souls and gives you a little pat on the back and tells you that everything is going to be okay if you did eat the first one, because like I said, we've all been there. Thank you very much for watching. For more Dark Souls tips videos and walkthroughs, remember you can subscribe to this channel for quality content. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.